Me and my team have decided to launch the Media Accountability Project as a tool to help fundraise and hold the media accountable for the lies they said and deal with them in court. You will be suing news organizations that maliciously lie about people who are in the news? Is, is that the plan? Yes, sir. We're going to be holding them accountable, Tucker. Why hasn't someone done this before? That's a good question, Tucker, and I'm not sure, to be honest, but I don't want to see anybody else have to deal with what I went through, so I want to hold them accountable for what they did to me. <laughs> right now, we're looking at quite a few uh, politicians, celebrities, athletes, Whoopi Goldberg's on the list. She called me a murderer. Even, I, 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 even all the excuses in the world <laughs> does not change the fact that three people got shot. Yeah. Yeah. Two people were murdered. Yeah. Yep. To me, it's murder, I'm sorry. After I was acquitted by a jury of my peers, she went on to still say that. And there's others, don't forget about Sank from the Young Turks. He called me a murderer before verdict and continues to call me a murderer. Yeah, so if I was the parents of the victims, the victims who are dead because Kyle Rittenhouse murdered them. And, and what about the people who called you groundlessly a white supremacist? Well, Rittenhouse, uh, the 17 year old kid, just running around, shooting and killing protesters. You see the 17 year old who was radicalized by Trumpism, took his AR-15 to Kenosha and became a killer. A white Trump supporting, MAGA loving, uh, Blue Lives Matter, social media uh, uh, partisan, 17 years old, picks up a gun, drives from one state to another with the intent to shoot people. A 17 year old boy mm -hmm. who drove across st state lines with an AR 15 and started uh, shooting people up including a guy with a skateboard. Kyle Rittenhouse, who has killed protesters, unarmed protesters. This idea of white vigilante violence is something that we have to wrestle with. And it may not be, uh, be done in one single court case, but we've got a pattern now where white men feel that they have the right to enforce the law themselves. Kyle Rittenhouse, the 17-year-old vigilante. Kyle Rittenhouse, a vigilante. Kyle Rittenhouse, the armed teenage vigilante. A 17-year-old vigilante, arguably a domestic terrorist, picked up a rifle, drove to a different state to shoot people. It was designed to do exactly what it did today. From the slave catchers on, the right to inflict violence um, in the name of protecting property.